Hey, love bugs. It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not, you know, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe that, you know, it can, you know, you can truly resonate with, please go ahead and share. You never know. Somebody, it can really help somebody else out as well. And I don't know why it is. I love to smell the sage when I'm doing my videos. It's really, it really smells good. Um... The video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Dropping the toxic weight. Not just your uh, others, but yours as well. That's true. You know, um, a lot of times we were like, oh, I don't want to talk to them. You know, it could be certain people that you may run out with, especially if you're at work. You know, or you in school. Or, you know, even if you have family gatherings, you'd be like, man, I ain't trying to talk to them. You know, shoot, they toxic. All they, all they do is talk about folks, this and this and this and that. And, you know, a lot of times you can be that way. And I used to be that way. I'm like, um, and, and probably still be breaking it. You know, there'd be a lot of habits I'm still trying to break into, you know, break into and break out of. You know, and just be like, if there are certain people that uh, you keep attracting like that, there are certain things within ourselves that we are not paying attention to. You know, and a lot of times that, um, you know, I've even said in videos as well as we be talking in chats or y'all be dropping, you know, comments like, girl, why do we always be prone? Because imp MPEV always be prone to either picking up people that are toxic as I don't know what, underdogs or um, uh, psycho psych so sociopaths, psychopaths, narcissistic or whatever. You know, in a way, we're underdogs. You know, especially if you've gone through some different things in your life and, you know, you everybody trying to find their way. You know, some folks know the direction they're going and saying, you know, whatever universe it brings into my life, I'm just open to it. Whatever it do, whatever it do. Y'all, it was raining for a while, so now you've seen these rays over me, so I do apologize. Let me see if it can get... Let me see, it'll probably go a little bit better. You see my little sugar packet stuff right here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, usually you can find your way of just saying, you know what, I, I got my blueprint. I know what I'm trying to do, you know. And a lot of times, universe is going to play something on your on, on your path where it's going to collab with that. Or it's just like, okay, you you know, you've been on that venture for a while. So, um, now it's time to add something else to it or, you know, that doors can come to a close. And sometimes we can get a straight panic mode, you know, especially if you don't, you know, if you're that type of person uh, that is just like, oh, my God, oh, my God, you know, it's different. I don't know if I can handle this. I don't know what to take it. Sometimes you got to just breathe, just like really breathe and just be, you know, I, I don't know what's going on. You know, universe and God done shook it up on me. It will be like, um... Sometimes it can feel like, you know, one of them eight balls you used to shake, like, hey, such and such and such and such. You're like, no, not yet. Or, you know, something like that. And you're just, um, you really just don't know what kind of curveball you're going to get thrown. But it's just like when you dropping that toxic weight, you know, I was like, you know, if I keep attracting that, there's something within me that's showing me, you know, because a lot of times we don't know. There's, there's stuff projected on inside. So either it can be that it's time to release or either it's showing you, you know, you have to be understanding, you know, because especially if it's not coming from you and it's coming from other people, be understanding. You don't know what other folks are going through. Not everybody handles things the same way you do. Not everybody deals with things the same way as you do. And some, you know, people just are all different. You know, individuals may vary. And um, it is either showing you, either you have this still in you or it's something is recognizing, recognizing, what what is needing to be taught what's the lesson into that that foundation of that situation or there's things that you need to release there are certain things when you're releasing you need to accept and move on it's time to let go or it is something with you and inside that 
you need to get in tune with so you can change that dynamic of yourself. And it's just like it's not something that's going, you know, it's going to happen overnight, but when you can be in a when you can be able to understand what the dynamic is that they're trying to show you, hey, at least you know what they're talking about. Okay, let me just go focus on this. Am I um always looking at everything from the glass half empty okay that means that you have to start seeing things from a bigger perspective are you seeing try to see the even in a negative situation is always underlining something positive that you need to know and i'm like dang okay let me take another drink of my daggone tea it's dropping tea so i'm sipping tea at the same time and then just allowing myself to do that and, and it's just like you're going through this uh healing healing journey of, of a new self-discovery that's what it is you're always on that journey of self where you're discovering new things about yourself really trying to understand um what is going on with you then let me i'm gonna pause this y'all because that rate is like really distracting me hold up okay y'all well that's a lot better i had to readjust so you know um just going through all that oh that's a lot clearer too but um you know going through all those different things it's just like you know like i told y'all i was going through a reassessment of, of of self you know going through the ooh woo woos and going through the oh uh, you know i i was I, I needed to get out of that eeyore effect for me i, I didn't like being that way i've been that, like that for so long and it was at that point it's like snap out of it you need to really snap out of it you got so many good things that's going on look at your purpose look at the people you're connecting with look at the people you're helping look at how you're helping yourself it's all about how how do you see yourself you know are you looking at yourself and seeing all your flaws and being disgusted with it or are you loving that apart about yourself that's just like hey you know tragedy can really change a person but it's just up to you to be able to see the things even even your your scars are the, that should be the favorite part of you because this is what molded you this is what's changing you this is what's healing you you know, it's helping you love yourself and accept yourself for who you are. And if there's things that you want to tweak a little bit, you go ahead. You know, if it's a surgery, you go ahead. If it's, you know, you um you just don't like how you feel about yourself, do things that um do things that is gonna make you feel better. You know, just you know, this is that that year, even though we're in the fourth month of this year. You know, this is at that time where we've been going through so many different things in your life. But you want, you don't want to carry around that same negative baggage. You just really don't. You know, and if you expect to change, you have to be able to drop that baggage off. You know, baggage claim hell over here. <laughs> you know, let me go ahead and put that over there. Because I ain't claiming that baggage no more. You know, and I'm ready to go. And it's just like you're dropping that. And when you stop dropping them, when you start dropping that toxic vibration with you, you'll just see that certain things just don't, you know, it just don't work for you anymore. And you'll notice that when you start dropping that, you'll start seeing what things you're not going to entertain anymore. With things like, uh-uh, let me, uh-uh, uh-uh, whatever this, no. No, I'm <laughs> just be like, no, 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 and no. I'm over here. I'm straight muting that, knowing it. I'm going to note myself up out of here. I'm going left even when I mean when it goes right. I'm going to be able to go and do what I need to do. Because when you start doing that, you'll start noticing. You know, you'll start noticing what what's attracting to you. Is it somebody, you know, it, it'll be feeling good when somebody dropped me a line. You know, I got one of those today. And it's just like, hey, you know, I checked this out, this and this and that that you, you know, you, uh, you shared. And it was something that I really needed today. And that made me feel good. Or it's just like, um, you know, we're getting new, uh, uh, what, what new subscribers in? Well, I don't like calling them subscribers. All new family members that's coming in. It's like you know what? I'm truly enjoying your channel. I'm truly enjoying your content, and that you know is just being consistent. You know, I haven't been this consistent in a minute. Well, I've been consistent, but it, it's just like when it comes to my videos, dropping them like that. And so I really love doing that. And it's, it's just like it can be very short and sweet. And some, sometimes I'm like, oh, don't you got something else to say? It's like, no, it ain't always got to be long and dragged out all the time. You know, and I used to do the videos the other way because it would be so quick and in and out. And I was just like, I don't like the quality of those. Let me, you know, sometimes when you want better quality, it you have to test the patience with it. You know, I'm some Taurus. I, 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 you know, my, I want my stuff, everything. You know, I want everything right now. You know, but it's just like a lot of times we want the microwave blessings. The microwave blessings is just like microwavable food. That, you know, it don't taste like, you know, like the cook would get it from scratch or something that may take a minute. You know, you may be hangry, but, you know, you don't want to be hangry on every little thing because it's like sometimes it takes a little bit longer 
for you doing that. But it's just like, you know, the different content, on, you know, they got me going on. You know, keep dropping a tea of knowledge, you know. Not, not everybody, that's not going to be everybody's cup of it. But you still need to do it. Be un un unapologetically, uh, uh, be unapologetic about your, your foundation of evolving, empowerment and stuff like that. You don't need to be explaining to people why am I doing that unless somebody's asking, you know, hey, you know, I've been really going through some stuff and, you know, I've been, you know, like with my stuff and it's like, you know, you always dropping videos about the things that you've gone through. You don't drop so many videos about different Hayokas and that's a good thing too because a lot of people like, I, you know, if I, you know, Google it. You the only videos that actually, you know I see other people, but yours is like you stay stuck on there. I'm like, look, that that's what I'm guided to do. The, you know I was doing twin flames. I was doing uh, 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 INFJs and narcissistic behavior, all those different things. They were like, no, you know, you, you stay in Hayoka because there's a lot of us this, this out there. There's a lot of different content, and a lot of people don't do that. And I was just like, throw, like you sure? But I don't really check, but I I get a lot of that, like you know, who that scared the mess out of me. <laughs> Where you know they're just saying, Rosalind, I've, I've never seen material that drops out like you know Hayoka's the way you do. So it's it's a beautiful thing. It it just allows me to know, okay, that's what what universe has gotten me towards because there's not you know there's maybe not a, be, a lot of people out there that's really doing that. So I'm like, oh, okay, all right, you know, and you don't have to always be you know stuck on that one thing because there's a lot of things as us as Hayokas we deal with you know you're wanting to empower you're wanting to project something that's very promising and and positive and you know and and when you're going through things being able to say you know you're not alone you know um even when it feels lonely you're not alone it's not gonna always be like this yeah there'll be times when it's gloomy it'll be sometimes when it's rainy hell there'll be sometimes it's hurricanes and earthquakes and you know uh tornadoes and stuff like that but sometimes you know the rainbow does come out you know that sunshine is gonna bright that sun is coming for you you know it's gonna be shining bright and these are the different things that you know you're you're changing within that you're going through a huge transition you know it may be the point where you know is like I don't know how are you able to stay positive all the time it, it can be a challenge to stay positive but I'm at that point now where I'm appreciating that challenge of challenging myself to stay positive because it's too easy to be in that vibration where you feel like you've given up it's really easy to be in that vibration where you feel very discouraged it's very easy for you seeing things in, in a negative way but that's where when you're challenging yourself is being able to see things like you know what this may be unfolding into something very promising but it's up to me to be able to see it that way you know, I had to be able to do that. I had to really change how I talk to myself, you know. And if I'm doing that, I need to make a better habit on doing it here as well. You know, I don't, uh, I, I try not to allow myself to take it personal on the things that I've said before. Because there will be sometimes it's like, I'll watch a video, I'm like, ugh, why did I say that? That's what the, that's, and it's like, don't do that. You know, and I'm like telling myself, don't do that. That's the vibration you were at right then. You, 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 you manifested that version of yourself right then. Be okay with that. But then you got to that point where you're saying, you know what? I need to add more to it. I'm ready to transform into that. I'm ready to move up to that next level. I'm ready to, you know, step up to the plate of stepping up to the plate for myself. You know, if I want what I want and I want better, I need to be aggressive with it. You know, I need to be hungry for that. I need to be savage for that. And I, I'm not going to apologize for that. You know, anytime you want, you know, and it is just like when them blessings, them doors of blessings open up for you, don't be regretting that. You know, don't be sitting up here and be, you know, looking at somebody down like that, you know, and, and making you feel like your your stuff don't stink, it, you know, and, and boo-boo don't smell like roses. Okay. But just being like, Nothing was handed to me. I earned that. I worked hard for that. I hustled that. I made moves for that. I stayed on my grind. I had to be persistent and consistent with myself. This is my turn. And I'm not going to be apologizing for that. And that's the vibration you need to give off to some other people that are still waiting on their blessings too. Because you had to wait for yours. 
you know but it, it's just like you have to be able to congratulate other people and a lot of times it can be hard to can constantly congratulate other people when you are never getting your blessings because I used to have that vibration I'm tired of sitting up here congratulating folks on their blessings that I'm never getting mine and it had to be at that point like you need to stop seeing it like that when you congratulating somebody else for that stuff, that's just like that was your blessing too. To see other people get blessed. Because you have to think of it. Don't don't do that because it's just a fact is are you gonna feel welcomed when somebody get mad when you get a blessing into your life? You got a new opportunity of a door of possibilities, of prosperities, of endless possibilities opening up for you. There's gonna open up plenty more doors after that. Are you gonna like it when somebody mad about that? No. So don't do it to somebody else. And I had to really tell myself that. Like, girl, you putting yourself in check on many daggone vibrations. Because there will be sometimes you get tired of your own ish. <laughs> you know, and you have to really check yourself. Like, you be checking yourself. That's when you know you're on that vibration of really, you know, wanting, wanting more for yourself. Really, really wanting more for yourself. And it, it's just like I'm dropping all that weight that is no longer needed on me. You know, and a lot of times we can feel like, Lord, you know, this spiritual awakening made me feel like my, my my life is just falling apart. It is. It is falling apart from what is not needing to be anymore, what is no longer serving you, what was probably built on a program, built on illusion, a whole lie of a lie. That made you realize that was a real lie, you know, and and those are the different things that's taking place. So I hope that was able, you know, you were able to get, you know, something up out of that, you know. And if you're going through that, you know, congrats, you know, you you've come a long way. Even if you're not exactly where you want to be at, tell yourself you done came a long way. There, you can come a long way because there's sometimes you've been stuck in that repetitive rotating door of sorrow. And sometimes whatever you're dealing with is hard for you to just have that courage to walk out. It's hard to have that courage at times to walk out. But that's that time where it's like it's time for you to get some new, new scenery. It's really time for you to get out that repetitive door and get some new scenery. Because you deserve that. You really truly deserve that. When you know... Um, there, there's a lot of times you can be going through in life and you can really just allow yourself to see every traumatic situation you have gone through. But I, you know, I've been there where I, that's all I paid attention to. Let me change my focus, you know, it was like, you know, focus, maybe that's all by her. It's like focus, you know, and change my focus of that. You know, if you want better, when you want better in your life, you know, that that's showing you that, you know, you deserve better. And you have to be able to do that for yourself. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Much love to you. Um, I, I hope this was able to, you know, touch you in that way if you needed it. You know, we're all going through hardships right now. We're all going through battles emotionally, mentally, especially mentally, you know, psychologically. You know, that mess goes heavy, you know, and a lot of times it takes a little bit longer than others. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times when it's taking longer, baby, it's getting to the roots of discovering something that, that you go, it's going to bring you to your knees with joy. It truly is. And that's what you're, you're deserving of that. You have to keep telling yourself, you know, no matter what you're going through, is is giving you that courage to know that you is, is making you get on that voyage of really deserving better. You know you deserve better. Knowing your worth. Knowing your love for yourself. You know, a lot of times we place love in things that don't love us. You know, we place love in things that show we didn't love us. You know, and it, there's a lot of things that challenge your worth where it's showing you. This is where you need to know where your worth is. There are certain trains. This is your time to get off. You know, this is your time. Your, your journey on that train is gone. You know, now it's, it, it's you know, it's taking you on, on a new uh, ride. So you need to get on that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video, y'all. Like I said, I leave all my contact information in the description box below. As well as the link to my podcast. Now I'm starting, you know, if you're with me and connect with me on um, IG, I am starting to sh uh, share my videos on there now. It's been a minute and I am dropping new um, podcast uh, links as well on there. And, you know, if, if you need to get in touch with me, it's all about, you know, spiritual networking. Um, just, you know, hit me up. You know, I'll leave all that there. If there are certain things that you're going through, uh, 
that you really need to talk about. You know, I, try, I tell people I try my best to be able to help you out the best way I can. My purpose is to broaden your horizons, helping you find that bigger perspective on that, that deeper perspective. Whatever we speak on is confidential. And um, if I can't tell you from, you know, words of experience, you know, universe guides me to be able to help you out in that way. And, you know, whatever we speak on is discreet. And um, if you feel, you know, generous enough, please go ahead and drop a donation in the cash app. It's truly appreciated. And, you know, whatever you're working on in your manis, you know, know it is, if, if it's taken forever, man, it is about to be extraordinary for you. Don't sleep on yourself. Keep going. Be consistent and persistent, you know, and, and allow yourself to enjoy the, the transition you're going through. Even though if it is uncertain, enjoy that because it's opening up new things. You know, when you allow yourself to be, you know, uh, optimistic about that, it allows you to change your vibration of how you how you face things and how you move forward. So, you know, I hope that was able to, you know, give you a good vibration towards that. And, um... You know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, wise frequencies. That can really take, you know, take someone a long way. And just because you took the time out to do that, it's going to take you even further. So I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be responsible for everything that you do. I don't know when this is going to uh, take place and come out. But if it comes out this weekend, hey, 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 have a safe, enjoyable weekend. If it comes out during the week. You know, have the same as well, except it's during the week. And it's going to be, uh, you know, perspective uh, in a positive way. It's going to be, pro uh, well, that's not perspective. Prosperity is coming through that in that way. I'm claiming that for you. So, much love. Peace. <laughs> Bye.